What's going on? I want to name this video. I don't have any sympathy for us anymore. Because here it is. We can change our situation literally overnight. And we cry and complain about our situation every day, all day. Whether it's from the police shooting us or from our children on the streets dying. Now, let's go back to economics and why we do not support each other or band together. One of my homegirls, I want to bring you all to a video. One of my homegirls, she has her own school from K to 6th grade. She's teaching her 3rd and 4th graders. Now, it's a private school. She's teaching her children to be entrepreneurs in the 3rd and 4th grade. She teaches them, her 3rd graders, 6th grade math. That's how much of excellence she does and she is and that she's teaching these children and she had a, um a, um where they were selling she set it up for them to to people to come out and buy whether it was food um they had um just different jewelry toys paintings for these for people for their children to come out there and sell anything that they were selling and for the community to come out and support. Now, anytime you want us to support, psh, come on, man. My thing is this. Even if you couldn't make it out to support these children selling something, we spend 98% of our money outside our community. When it's time for us to open up a business, psh, we spit on it. We'll walk right past it. Right past it. Here's the businesses that's hiring from your community. Now, the thing is this. My thing is this. If you couldn't get out there to support her, at least share the video. At least like the damn video. Come on, man. What is with us? I don't understand it with us. I'm going to show y'all her video. This is her video. Asking people, come out. Support her children. Selling um, anything from s chips, snacks, paintings. Here go a video right here. Back parking lot and help support our young entrepreneurs. I'm going to show you some of the tables that they currently have set up. We'll be starting at 11 o'clock and we really need your support. All right, right here we have Vinny Sweets and Lemonade. lemonade. Over here we have Jolie's Princess Jewelry. And then we have Eden's Garden, her toy store. Everything for Eden's Garden is a dollar or two dollars. Everything at Jolie's Princess Jewelry is one dollar. We also have Cassidy's Sweet Candies. And over here they're selling we have some more treats that they will be selling and juices. Over here we have pickles. Yes, this sold me pickles. We got pickles for sale. We got fruities, gummies. Over here we have some homemade cookies, bubble gum, juice, and chips. Now, my thing is this. If they were giving out free hair weave, I'm not trying to take any shots at my sisters, but if they were giving out free hair weave, line would have been around the block. If there was young kids fighting, everybody would have been sharing that video. Sharing that video. Here it is, man. When it's negative, man, we love it. If it's positive, pfft. somebody's doing something positive. We are so jealous of one another. We hate each other so much, but then we want our situation to turn around. We want to do something about our situation, but don't want to do nothing about our situation. We want it to be given to us. It's easier to beg the mayor, invest in our communities, instead of us getting out there and supporting our own and creating our own communities, creating our own jobs, Creating more opportunity in schools and betterment. For our, money equals power. With no money, no power, we are defenseless. We are we 
This is why they could kill our children in the streets and get away with it. Because we have no power. Power is the ability to respond, the ability to protect and provide for, the ability to deliver a consequence. We don't have the ability to deliver a consequence. This is why they feel comfortable with killing our children in the street. Unarmed brothers and sisters running and they've got them down in the middle of our streets and patrol our streets. They are willing and wanting to come in our community, sell us anything we'll buy, and we'll buy anything from them. And they, and they feel comfortable enough they don't even have to hire from our communities. That's, and then they don't even have to pay taxes in our community, for the most part, some of them. They operate tax-free seven years and then sell it to their brother, their sister, their cousins. They walk in our community, get rich, and walk right out of our community. What do we do? We allow it. We allow it, and we love it, and we support it. But when it comes to us supporting and opening up a business, psh, we hate it. We are... We are um, at arms with each other. Now, today, LeBron James, he opened up his school in uh, Ohio. Shout out to LeBron James. My man opened up um, a school in Ohio for his children. I want to tell you guys all the benefits. They get free tuition. This, LeBron James students in his school, they get free tuition, free uniforms, free bicycle and helmet, free transportation within two miles, free breakfast, lunch, and snacks, food pantry for families, wow, so he's giving out food to their families too, wow, GDs, and job placement service for parents, wow, guaranteed college tuition to the University of Akron for every single student who graduates. Much love. Much shout out to LeBron James. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Amazing. Amazing person he is. Now if you're wondering why I have Floyd Mayweather. Also on these images. Look at Floyd versus LeBron. Come on man. Look at our celebrities. Mark Zuckerberg. Bill Gates are billionaires. Billionaires. You hear me with the B. Look at our celebrities. And look at their celebrities. Look at Chinese celebrities. Do you see any other celebrities outside of our celebrities out there got a floss with their money buying or $18 million watch? And for what? Who do you have to prove at this point? We know you're a millionaire. And what do we do with our money? Most of our celebrities will be flat broke in five to ten years. Most of our celebrities. Not all of them, but we got a good amount. We teach our children to take your money and buy shit you cannot afford. Bentleys and Benzes and houses. This is why most of our children, most of us, cannot manage two pennies to save our life. We got brothers and sisters who are millionaires and billionaires, yes. But we account for less than 2% of the businesses in this country. Oh my, that is sad. We got, we got foreigners who come over here with the clothes on their back. And they have more businesses than we do. And we've been over here 500 years. Don't get me wrong, we've been slaves. However, we had more businesses in the 50s than we do now. During the Great Depression, we had more businesses than we do now. That is, and we are the only people going ass backwards. And that's why I have LeBron James versus this clown, Floyd Mayweather. This is what we do with our money. Private jets, $18 million watches. Five million dollar cars that he left at the airport that he did not need. Now don't get me wrong. It's just his money. He can do whatever he want to it. But I'm entitled to my opinion. You're a clown. Straight up. Now you don't have to reach back for our community. But this is why we are forever and will be doomed.
There's celebrities. There's a Chinese billionaire that just invested 18 million in Chinatown in Chicago. That's why they stay winning. They're celebrities, they're millionaires, they're billionaires, invest the money in their people. Our Mexican, Indian, Asian, Greek. Go to any 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 state, any country, I mean any city in this country, you'll see a Greek town, you'll see a Chinatown. Uh, any and every 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 other race, every other immigrant has their own town in every one of our cities. You know what they do? They band together, they invest together. They invest in their own, they invest in their businesses, they invest in why is it my business that Floyd Mayweather is just blowing money in the air, giving it right back to them people. I am a videographer. I watch our children get scraped up off this, off the concrete, off the ground. I watch mothers. There's a visual today. A young girl, 21 years old, was just gunned down on these Chicago streets last night. Why is it my business? These children have no jobs, have no opportunity. We won't stick together. Our millionaires are billionaires, except LeBron James. Shout out to him. And there's a few other celebrities that give back, don't get me wrong. However, for the most part, they grab their money, they move to Beverly Hills, they give it right back to them people. And then they flat broke. My thing is this, I'm not sporting no celebrity. No celebrity that just don't give back to the community. People are buying Michael Jordan, they can care less your kids out there dying over his shoes. He can care less. You think Michael Jordan care about it? People dying over his shoes? Please, give him his check. That's it. That's all he worried about. Don't worry him about nothing else. LeBron James put his money where his mouth is and helped them kids because that's where he comes from. That's his community. We got too many of our celebrities, too many people, but everybody, don't get me wrong, everybody must come together and band together and put, it, put money up and do for each other. But for the most part, we doomed. We doomed. For the most part, our celebrities care less what go on in the community. Ain't about to invest 10 cent back in the community. Some of them do. Some of them do. Don't get me wrong. But LeBron James had the means to do it. He went out, man, and provided not only an education, but a way for out of poverty. A way promoting college graduates. Those kids are are striving for excellence. LeBron James paved that way thanks to him. Floyd Mayweather, he invested in cars, clothes, and invested in these kids' demise because now they see Floyd flossing money, throwing money, burning money, buying ish we don't need. Who, what other celebrities do that? Let's look at a picture of Mark Zuckerberg. Now, not one Gucci belt between the two billionaires. These two probably worth a trillion dollars combined. How many Gucci belts do you see in this picture? None. I mean, they literally wear Levi's, jeans, regular houses, regular cars. They have absolutely nothing to prove to their community. They have nothing to floss, nothing to show off. Absolutely nothing to, sh to, to brag about. Look at our celebrities. Throwing money in the air. Flossy spending money they don't have. Half our celebrities on the low are flat broke. Flat broke. Flossing. Half our celebrities you see out there flossing money are flat broke. They ain't got two pennies to rub together. No businesses. We got mansions. No businesses. Celebrities out here renting. We still got celebrities renting. Renting, borrowing money, but flossing with big money, that's us. That's how sad our conditions, and don't get me wrong, this is my opinion. Those are clowns. That's this clown-ish. If you do clown-ish, I'm going to call it duck a duck. For real. That, that's super silly to me because what are we teaching our children? So now what happens is our children would rather invest in a bin than a business. Now our community is stuck with no jobs. We got to run on our hands and knees. Begging them for jobs. 
None of us want to start a business. But everybody want to work at a business. So instead of investing our money in businesses, we invested in businesses, Benzes, Bentleys, houses we can't afford. Then we cry about why is the unemployment rate so high. They won't hire us. Because it's their business. They don't have to hire us. Why don't we just start our own? Create our own. But even if we start our own. Like I showed y'all in the beginning. We won't even support it. We won't even support it. So man as a whole. We all in the same car. Don't get me wrong. I made mistakes too. Don't get me wrong. But what are we teaching our children? What are we teaching our children? And so this is something we must correct. Anyway, I want you guys to like, comment, good or bad, whatever. Share this video. Peace, peace.